Hi, I'm Mitch Gallagher from Sweetwater. If you're going to record vocals, acoustic instruments, drums, electric guitar cabinets, and many other sources, then you need to have microphones in your gear locker. And the more and better microphones you have, the better your recordings will be. That's why the goal of many musicians, and of course of recording engineers and recording studios of all types, is to have a well-stocked mic locker. With a selection of great mics at your fingertips, you'll always have the perfect transducer for whatever source you're capturing. To help you get started building your mic locker, the talented writers at Sweetwater put together a great article that you can find at our InSync News and Research page at Sweetwater.com. Check out the link in the description below to find that article. It'll provide a ton of information and links to help you in your mic journey. In this video, I'd like to take a look at what we covered in that article and offer suggestions that will help you build the mic locker of your dreams. Now, I do want to make one thing clear. As we get started, you don't have to spend a fortune to get the mics you need to make your recordings. These days, there are fantastic microphones for all applications at all price points, including very affordable options. In fact, let's follow the lead of the InSync article at Sweetwater.com that I mentioned and set our price ceiling for our ultimate mic locker at $500. With that budget in mind, let's get started on our mic journey. Boy, wait one more minute before you dive into the nearly endless array of mic offerings at Sweetwater.com. If you've seen my videos before, you know that I always recommend taking a pause before you hit that order button or before you call your sales engineer to do just a little thinking about your ultimate goal. It really helps to have a firm idea of what you need and want to do with your microphones so that you purchase the right mics to cover all of your applications. And one more tip, I recommend getting the best microphones you can afford on your budget. Going with the best quality mic you can afford will pay off in the long run since you won't have to replace that mic later with a better model. Instead, you can put your future dollars to work expanding your collection to give you even more sonic options. With all that said, let's take a cue from our InSync article and look at our mic locker in terms of specific applications. For example, let's say you're a singer-songwriter. In many cases, this means that you'll be playing and recording an instrument along with your vocals, and often that'll be an acoustic guitar. While it's possible to do this with one microphone, you'll have more flexibility if you split up the duties across two mics, one dedicated to your instrument and one dedicated to your voice. This way, you'll have a lot more control when it comes to mixing your final projects. Now, a great option for your acoustic guitar would be the Rode NT1, which was recently updated to its fifth generation. The NT1 is a large diaphragm condenser microphone with both an XLR output for feeding a mixer or audio interface, as well as a USB output for connecting directly to your computer or tablet. With its large diaphragm condenser design, the NT1 is going to give you a big, rich, highly detailed recording of acoustic instruments, and as a bonus, I found that it works equally well on guitar cabinets and especially well on vocals. In fact, it comes bundled with a shock mount and a pop filter, so you're set for either instrument or vocal recording right out of the box. And speaking of vocals, many singers prefer to work with a dynamic microphone, which can be equally effective in the studio and on the stage when they're working with vocals. Take a look at the Mojave Audio MAD Cardioid Dynamic Mic. I did a video on this mic, and I found that it sounded fantastic on all sorts of voices. With its cardioid pattern, it rejects background noise well, and the super smooth frequency response means that you'll get a rich musicality to your recordings. And once again, it's a versatile option. Try it on drums, guitar and bass cabinets, brass, and more. Now, if you're a drummer, then you need to fill out your mic locker with a selection of mics that will let you get the perfect audio capture of your entire kit. To get things started, I recommend looking at a drum microphone package, which combines several useful drum mics into one convenient bundle. The Audix FP5 package, for example, gives you dedicated mics for kick, snare, and three toms. And the mics come bundled with low-profile mounting clips so you don't need to have a forest of mic stands around your kit. Plus, everything packs up into one convenient aluminum carrying case. I'd round out the Audix FP5 package with a great pair of small diaphragm condenser mics placed over the top of your drum set. This way you'll pick up the cymbals and you'll get a great overall image of the entire kit. The Rode M5 is a great choice and it comes as a matched pair so you can track your drum overheads in stereo. The M5 gives you highly detailed transients and great depth so you'll not only hear the ping and the shimmer of the cymbals and hi-hats, but you'll also get the articulation of your sticks on the drum heads as well. Plus, the M5 is fantastic on acoustic guitar, piano, and much more. If you're a guitar player, or you're recording a guitar player, then you know that it's all about capturing the tone coming out of the speaker. A dynamic mic is often the right call here, and there are a few almost universal standard mics that come up again and again when we're recording guitars. The first of these is the E609 from Sennheiser. Not only does a super cardioid pattern of the E609 reject background noise and bleed, but the convenient form factor means that you simply hang the mic over your amp in front of the speaker to get an incredible recording. It doesn't get much easier, and there's no mic stand required. 
And of course, we have to mention the mic that instantly pops into everyone's head when the discussion turns to recording guitar, and that's the ubiquitous Shure SM57. Not only is the SM57 the go-to for recording engineers around the world, but this mic excels in nearly any application. I've done recordings of a complete drum kit using only SM57 mics, for example. I've seen it on acoustic guitar, on piano, and of course on voice. Plus, the SM57 is nearly indestructible. The first one I bought in the early 1980s is still going strong, so you can buy one today and you'll have it for life. If you're a recording engineer or stocking a recording studio mic locker, then you need to be ready to mic up a variety of sources, and a variety of microphones are going to be necessary to serve you well. I break this down into four categories, and if you shop carefully, you can bring it all in under $500 total for an ultra-versatile mic locker. First, you'll need a ribbon microphone. A ribbon microphone will give you a big, full sound that comes across as very natural to our ears. For vocals, electric guitar, brass, and more, a ribbon is a great choice. Check out the Golden Age Project R1 Mark II for a mic that delivers ribbon goodness, but can handle high sound pressure levels without blinking. A small diaphragm condenser microphone, like the AKG P170, will give you a ton of versatility because it excels on acoustic sources in particular. The P170 will give you detailed, realistic captures of acoustic guitar, stringed instruments, piano, winds, percussion, and much more. The P170 is super affordable and delivers great captures of a wide range of sources. Likewise, you want a great large diaphragm condenser microphone. It's a must-have for vocals, piano, guitars, and so much more. Take a look at the SE Electronics X1A, which is a balanced sounding microphone that can cover so much ground for you. With its wide frequency response, you can put it in front of almost any source and know that you're going to get a great sounding recording with full dynamics and impressive accuracy. And every engineer's mic locker needs a great dynamic mic too. For a vintage style classic, you can't beat the Shure 545 SD. Back in the day, this was the mic that featured Shure's Unidyne technology, which went on to evolve into the much-loved SM57. For added versatility, the 545 SD offers dual impedance operation, and it has a locking on-off switch, which is great when you need to record a lecture or a spoken word presentation. Of course, the 545 SD also excels at what it was originally designed for, which was capturing all sorts of instruments with a solid, vintage flavor. It's one of my favorites on guitar cabinets, for example. No matter what your application, when it comes to choosing the best mics for your locker, Sweetwater has you covered with tons of great resources, including the ultimate $500 mic locker article in the news and research page that I mentioned earlier. You can find it linked in the description below. Now once you've checked that out, give your Sweetwater sales engineer a call. They'll be happy to use their years of experience and intensive gear training to help you sort through the options and choose the very best mics for your application, no matter what your budget. You should also point your browser to Sweetwater.com to learn more about the incredible array of microphones we keep in stock and ready to ship to you here at Sweetwater. Thanks for joining me today, and good luck building your dream microphone locker. I'm Mitch Gallagher from Sweetwater. Sweetwater.